John Kramer. He has been a civil engineer and an architect uh, for almost 40 years. Um, and what interests me um, about him uh, is that he is interested in many, many, many things uh, from a point of view of philosophy, theology. He's extremely well read, very intelligent, uh, and very committed, um, unlike many of us who look around us and complain about the world uh, or some aspect of the world but do nothing. He does something. Whether you agree with what he does or not is another subject entirely. It's my job to flush him out, to be on his side, and to um, draw audiences in to the thought process. Traps. John doesn't view them that way. He views them as test situations. And um, I know it's easy and convenient because they are as terrifying as they are uh, to think of them as traps. He doesn't, everyone has an opportunity to win the game and to succeed. John's a mag magician in a certain way. Sometimes what you see is not what you get with him. So, so let's assume though that what you saw uh, in Saw 3 was actually happening. Uh, then we've had to, to create moments uh, at different points in time, uh, uh, this one, um, this one, I would say, happens somewhere between saw one, saw two, somewhere in that in that in that zone. Amanda is John's apprentice, and like any apprentice, good apprentice, um, the apprentice wants to learn the trade of a skilled craftsman from the ground up. And that's uh, what Amanda Young uh, does. Uh, and uh, uh, John, uh, she successfully uh, won her game back at the beginning of Saw. And uh, you know, I don't know if you know Amanda's background, but she um, had a drug problem and was somewhat of a uh, 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 problematic, you know, struggling with her life. And uh, John kind of got her on, on this track where she, she, um, she was living on the street for a while, and, uh, but she, he gave her a room in, off of his workshop. And uh, she has been there uh, to help him on many occasions. I think what, what John likes about her is that he's been able to corral her and pull her in and get her to um, use her amazing strength and energy in a more focused way and in a less self-destructive way. Uh, <clears throat> Um, and uh, Shawnee Smith uh, uh, developed the character uh, uh, at the beginning of uh, Saw One, and uh, um, she uh, is very important in John's life. When they cast her in the role that she's cast in, uh, I, w I took one look at her and I was like, oh my God, she is perfect. And she has been. Kevin Groydert um, is directing this film um, with uh, very strong credentials. Uh, he uh, comes from editing, uh, has uh, been involved with Saw since the beginning, um, uh, edited and directed 
uh, he's edited most of the Saw films, directed a few of them. So nobody knows Saw the way, the way Kevin knows Saw. And um, he brings, uh, I have, I, I, I did another film with Kevin, a previous Saw film with Kevin, but I've gotten to know him more in this because I'm in so much of this film. So we've, we've had um, lots of, I've gotten to, to have a working relationship with him, a deeper working relationship with Kevin. Uh, he's very detail oriented. He's very shot oriented, very edit oriented. He knows what the shot he needs and wants because he knows how to make this film cut together so it has impact. And uh, that's a marvelous thing. It all starts with the writing. And the script uh, for this particular film is very strong. Uh, um, uh, perhaps one of the strongest Saw films. Uh, um, Josh Stahlberg and Pete Goldfinger did a marvelous job. And when I first read the script, I was uh, very impressed with it. And uh, uh, it was in very, very good shape, very tight. and. Uh, uh, the casting has been wonderful, so uh, we have a good film here. We've been able to create a layer in the Saw films that make people think. Not only is it a rollicking uh, roller coaster ride of, uh, of amazing special effects and, uh, and situations and surprises and twists and turns, but we've been able to raise some subjects that make people go, oh, Oh, that's what what he's, you know, and and when you contrast a moment like that with with what else is going on in the film, and all of a sudden this unexpected moment happens where people go, oh, it's it's it 